Hi there, Julianne Jones here with another video blog post for you. I want to talk with you today about what I call time awareness. I spend a lot of time on this blog and, and just really in everything I do talking about time management and uh, how to create a schedule and how to manage your time. But what I want to have you think about today is something I call time awareness. And what this is all about really is how quickly time passes, especially when you're not really aware of it or you're not, you know, you don't realize it. So for instance, I spend a lot of time working at my computer. I'm making this video in front of my computer. I work probably 90% of my time at my computer. And what I've noticed since, you know, 15 years ago when I started using a computer and working at a computer is I can definitely lose track of time when I'm working on my computer. It doesn't really matter what I'm doing, but especially if I happen to be like really like focused on a, on a project and you know, I'm, I'm creating something or I'm editing something. I really can, I can look up and the next thing I know, you know, two or three hours have gone by and I didn't even realize it. And so what I love to do in order to sort of combat that or, or to help myself be more aware of, the passing of time during the day is to set some type of alarm so that I have to become aware of the time periodically throughout the day. So when I when I sort of um, realized this was years ago when I got my very first Mac, almost 20 years ago, and it had this feature that actually came standard on the Mac. You had to turn it off if you didn't want it, where at the top of every hour it would like just ding or set or an alarm would go off to, to tell you that another hour had passed. And I started really finding myself kind of relying on that because I'd be working and all of a sudden that alarm would go off and I'd go, oh my gosh, another hour already? And it just made me at least once an hour become conscious of how much time I'd spent on whatever that project was. Um, I also noticed that every Christmas I have a, one of those Christmas clocks that at the, on the top of every hour it plays a Christmas carol. <laughs> and it's one of my favorite things about Christmas, but it hangs in my kitchen right back here behind me there. Um, and every hour that it goes off and it plays a Christmas carol. And again, it makes me really aware. And so, you know, I, I've been using a Mac. I, I started out years ago with an actual Apple Macintosh computer. Um, and then I went PC for a long time. And then about five years ago, I switched back to a Mac. And the first thing I looked for was that feature. And I was so happy it was still there. And, you know, I had turned it on. And so now every hour, this little voice pops up and says it's three o'clock. And it reminds me to be conscious. Um, and I'm just going to recommend that you find a way to do that, whether that's a clock in your home, like if you happen to have a cuckoo clock or a grandfather clock or any kind of a clock that chimes the hour, make sure that's on and that you're aware of it. You can even set an alarm in your office if you want, but just be aware that bringing yourself into the awareness of how much time you've spent at least every, you know, hour, half hour is a very positive thing for you because it keeps you conscious of kind of where you are in your day. Otherwise, you look up and it's six o'clock at night and you know dinner hasn't been started and you can't figure out where the day went. So just a little tidbit for you there. Become aware of the amount of time you're spending and come up with some sort of a, a, a auditory or visual way to keep you aware so that um, you check in with yourself a little bit periodically throughout the day. Speaking of checking in, I hope that we're connected out here in the social media world. Whether you're watching this on my website, on YouTube, on Facebook, or some other uh, social media site, I'm really thrilled that you're here. Um, make sure that we are connected and all those buttons are either below the video or above it, depending on where you're, you're looking at it. But you can find those on this page somewhere. And uh, you know, let's go like my fan page. You can participate in the video Q&A Monday there. Uh, make sure that we're connected on Pinterest and Twitter and LinkedIn and, and Instagram and here on the website too. If you're not a part of my mailing list, there's a link um, below this, this video that will allow you to go join that list. And when you do that, you actually get an awesome free report that I wrote on getting bookings, a booking blueprint, so to speak, or roadmap, actually, I guess it is. So hopefully you're having a great day. It's a beautiful day here, and I'm looking forward to summer. We're, it's just right around the corner, and uh, we're going to be in the hot weather months, playing on the river, and uh, having a great, uh, great summer. Hope you are having a fabulous day, and I'll look forward to connecting with you very soon.